So um, today we're going live and we are going to discuss the PITA formula, which is problem, irritate, take away an action or call to action. And we're going to explain how to tie that in with um, your Google My Business page. And so, exactly. um, so, I mean, we could use what's the problem? Well, the problem is sometimes we don't know what to post as a small business owner that reaches our audience or how to grab those views um, that are showing up when somebody does a, um, a, a keyword search for, or a product search, a service search, or even just typing in your, in your business name, address, and phone number. And so when using the PITA formula that kind of um, grabs your viewers' attention, right? And, and then yep. helps to solve their problem. <laughs> Exactly. And I have to give credit where credit's due. I mean, David Sprague is, is a colleague of mine. He's the one who came up with this formula. There's, there's a lot of, you know, four step formulas and there's even a three step that, you know, like a, um, a PDF, uh, pain, dream fix. You know, there's a lot of different ways to acronyms that people use. Um, bottom line is, is that, yeah, I mean, if, 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 from my experience, if I don't, if I don't have, if I don't identify right up front, what, um, what the pain point of the person is, then there's, there's no, um, there's no engagement there. There, there's no reason for them to listen to the rest of the video. And so right up front, whether it's video, whether it's a landing page, whether it's a book, it doesn't matter what you're creating content about. In, in my opinion, the following a pain, you know, problem, pain, whatever you want to call it, but whatever that problem, the challenge that that person's having, if you don't, if, if I don't identify that problem right up front, then, then there's, there's going to be no hook, no reason for that person to actually re continue reading the blog post, continue watching the video. Whereas if I start right from the beginning and say, Hey, what's the problem that, that you, that you have or the pain that you're experiencing I've literally grabbed that person's attention from the, the very beginning. And that's why it's in the beginning. The, the, the problem of the pain that you're fixing is right in the beginning because ultimately if you say it at the end, then you're, it doesn't, you know, it, it's the, the person's not, not going to know that that blog, that video, that landing page really has anything to do with them or not. You know, you want to, I want to, have my content resonate with the people that uh, I'm targeting. And mm -hmm. if I've done a really good job of, of identifying the avatar that we're targeting, then I have, and I've done the research that we do crystal a lot of yeah. uh, with our tools that we've talked about, like ask the public, et cetera. Mm -hmm. When we use those tools, we identify what people's pains are because they're typing them in Google or they're, and so it's really, it seems simple, but just, if you just title your blog post, what those questions are or create video content about that, or to relate this to what we're talking about, which is local search engine optimization <clears throat> and specifically creating content on your Google, my business page, which now you can create, for example, posts like Crystal's showing right now on your Google, my business page that will significantly help you improve your local search engine rankings, because if you give Google what it wants, then like we've always said, Google will give you what you want. So when you create content that's, that's very, that follows this pain, you know, or problem, irritate, take away, call to action formula, okay, where the headline identifies the problem in order to pull the person in. These posts allow you to also put a decent amount of description so you can irritate that problem even further. Okay. So that's the, the second step. And then the takeaway is really, it, it's just another word for what the solution is to the problem. So you can see these posts here, you know, there's one right there that, you know, is your business being found online? You know, that's a great problem. Well, no, actually, you know, my business is not being found online. Some people might, might say, okay, well, we want to get that person that sees that to read more and to click
click on the link, which is the solution, and we further, do you have reviews you know, online and how do your reviews compare to your competition? Do you have the correct schema code? What we're doing is, is we're further irritating or even making it more evident what the problem is. And we're, we're hinting at the, the takeaway at the bottom there. Find out instantly, learn more by click by, and we're giving them a specific call to action. It's right there. So there's the, there's the whole PETA right there. I mean, the only thing that I could have done better maybe in this, in this um, description here is identify or really further irritate what the problem is. Because if you are not being found online, what that means is, is less revenue for your business. It means that you're not getting inbound phone calls. Yeah. You know, et cetera. So we, yeah, you know, you're not, you're not getting, uh, you're just not getting found. And, and, um, and what, you know, what, what is that, what are the results of that? And so, you know, I think this, just these few sentences here really identify, really give a good example of what the, the PETA formula is, you know, problem, irritate, take away, and then at the end there, call to action, tap the learn more button below to get this free scan now. So they tap the learn more button. And this is, you know, my suggestion is, is to create any content that you make, particularly when you create these blog, these posts on your Google My Business page, which is part of what we're trying to teach on today, which is to actually go and create these posts on your, for your Google My Business page. You know, go and do this because it is, it does give you traffic. It will give you better rankings um, in the search on the maps, et cetera. And also, the great thing about it is that it actually gives you more real estate when your Google My Business page shows up in the search results as well. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of reasons to do this. So if I was going to give a problem today, okay, it, it would be exactly what Crystal just did. You know, the problem is, is that, is that you don't have, if you don't have a structure for your content, okay, then you're not going to, then you're not going to make an impact you're not going to get the rest of your content read. So what does that mean? Well, if that, if, if people are not engaging with your content, they're not reading your content, then that means that they're not taking the action that you want them to take. You're not getting the phone calls that you, you're just, you're spending money and you're not getting a result. Okay. You're spending time and money and energy, et cetera. And you're just not ultimately not going to get the result that you want, which is, people to engage with your content and read it and consume it and, and share it. And um, that's the irritation. The, the solution to that is to have a formula, the PETA formula, problem, irritate, or PETA, problem, irritate, takeaway, call to action, um, in order to give you a structure that will allow you to create content so that you grab that person's attention right from the beginning and take them through a story all the way to the end, which is the call to action, which is go and take this next step and make that very, very specific as well. So, um, yeah, I really, you know, I, I really think that this is a, uh, this PETA or PETA formula um, is one that we've, we've followed for a long time. And it really, whenever we are in doubt as to why a piece of content is not working, we always, I always just find myself going back to this and saying, okay, well, what, what part of the, what part of the formula did I not follow here? You know? And when I do that nine times out of 10, I find out that I left out the irritation. I didn't really irritate the problem. I didn't, or I didn't identify the pain of the problem in the beginning. And then, um, you know, I, or I didn't, you know, give the solution <clears throat> and, or I didn't give a call to action, you know? And yeah. so this is really a great way to, you know, create content, whether it's, a uh, you know, posting the, creating the post or creating a, uh, an offer on your directory listings or, you know, creating uh, content on any of the social media sites or any of the directories for that matter. So, yeah, yeah I mean, that's got really all your button options here, which is book, order online, buy, learn more, sign up, get offer. So really yeah. that, that so what, helps with your call to action in a way. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, what really, what Google's done is they've given, they've really modeled, they've, they've 
<laughs> they've actually given you the the PETA formula right in right in the actual creation of the post section right here because they literally force you to give a call to action. They mm -hmm. they put a place for you to put a title, which you know they're. I'm thinking they're probably, so in other words, what they're trying to do is they're really trying to get you to, to, let, to use the, the problem, the, the PETA formula, because you know, they're trying to get you to put a, an image there that's gonna grab somebody's attention, create a headline that is gonna be, identify the problem and describe what that picture's about, and then give a description that's gonna give you even more space to further irritate or, or describe the problem and then you've got, you know, a little bit of space there to give the solution and then the call to action. It's, it's a, it really is. I mean, even more than WordPress, it's, you know, WordPress, yeah. you know, you don't have to give a call to action, but I, I find it really ironic or and interesting that Google My Business literally like makes it so that you <laughs> basically have to give the call to action at the end of your post, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's really cool. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. So, and, and that can be, and that, by the way, that, I mean, I also want to say Crystal that that, you know, you could, you could even apply, you know, we've talked a lot about getting reviews as, as well for local search engine optimization. You know, you can apply the same PETA formula to even getting reviews. Although we use the, the, the three W or two W testimonial, which is yeah. what benefits you received and why would you recommend? But even, even the, you know, the, it, it's, this PETA formula can be followed when you're asking for a review as well. It's for everything because the bottom line is, is that person you're asking for, for a review from, if you, if you ask them to identify the problem that you fix as a company, if you just did that, if they just described that, that is really mm -hmm. what, if you think about it, is going to get people that see that review to take action. You know, before I was, this is the way life was and I had this huge problem and mm -hmm. then, you know, and, and as a result, you know, this happened, this happened, this happened, there's the irritation. But the solution was, is I found Accelerate Marketing and they gave, and we got great reviews and all of a sudden we got, we started being found on online. I mean, it's the same, it's the same structure. It's the same, you know, it, it really, so what I'm trying to say here is, is that there is a strong correlation to obviously using the PETA formula with creating any content that you're creating for local SEO. And, and it's really important to follow this formula for anything that you do, let alone local search engine optimization. Um, but and I, and I know that when you do, you'll get better results. You'll get more engagement, more phone calls, and um, try it. Go back to old content that you've actually created and yeah follow the formula and, and, and ask yourself these questions and put it back out there and see what kind of engagement you get. I'll bet you get better engagement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a great idea, Ryan. <laughs> I was yeah. looking for a way to um, create content. Why not go back and apply the PETA formula? PETA formula. Okay. So mm -hmm. we are out of time. Um, Monday through Friday, we are live sharing some successful strategies with you on how to become the go-to niche in your business. This week, we are discussing Google My Business. Next week is going to be um, online reputation and reviews. And then the week after that is local SEO. So if you have any questions for us, send us a message at m.me forward slash accelerate marketing. Anything else you'd like yeah, to add, Ryan? No, I mean, yeah, just go there or you can now... You can go to our website as well yep. and go check out, you know, the uh, just, we just want to start conversations with you guys and answer your questions. And you can do that by either going to m.me forward slash accelerate marketing or, you know, go to our website and there's a chat button at the bottom, right? You know, we'll answer your questions. We'll jump on there within five minutes, no matter, no matter what. All right. All right.